In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my method of installing Windows 10 or 11. Doesn't matter which operating system, you install them in the same way. The only thing that changes is what ISO you actually download for your device. So in my method, I'm going to be using a tool called Ruffus, and I'll talk about that later in the video after we install the ISO and so on. So you will need a USB drive. So make sure it's at least 16 gigabyte worth of USB, okay? And this is 2.0, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that will matter between the 2.0 and USB 3.0 is the speed and transfer rate. But hey, we don't care about that. Make sure it's 16 gigabyte. Now let's go on into installing our Windows 10 ISO. So all we do is go into Chrome or your internet browser, whatever you use. Say Windows 10. Done. So a bunch of websites are going to be coming up. I already tried the Microsoft way of downloading the Windows 10 ISO. Basically, when you go to the website, they're going to make you download something called a media creation tool. And then from the media creation tool, you can download the ISO from there. But my operating system is just not working with the media creation tool. Whenever I try to run it, it like shows that it's going to work and then it just doesn't. It fails. It says I must restart my PC and then I restart my PC. It still doesn't work. So I give up on that method. So I'm just showing you a little bit easier way to get it. Let's come out from here. So I use a website called itechtics.com. www.itechtics.com. So once you go into the website, you will be given two options. Download Windows 10 version 64-bit ISO or Windows 10 version 32-bit ISO. So my system or my PC is a 64-bit. So I'm going to go ahead and install the 64-bit. Now this is direct links to getting the Windows 10 ISO. So you can just instantly download it and you'll see the icon. And once it's actually completed, now we can actually take a look at how to install it with Ruffus. Okay, so after your Windows 10 ISO downloads, after that big file is completely downloaded and it's in your download folder now, we can go ahead and make our USB bootable, which is fairly easy with the uh, Ruffus software. So let's install Ruffus to begin with, if you didn't already install it. So you just say Ruffus in your web browser, and you're just going to see the website, ruffus.ie. And once you go to this website, you're going to see the download links. So you just download the first one, so it's Rafa's 3.21. And once you're done with that, we can go ahead and make our USB bootable. Once you have installed Rafa's and opened the application, this is the setup screen that you're gonna see. It's nothing too complicated, I'm just gonna guide you through the steps so you will also see how easy it is to make a bootable USB in this way. So let's go through the steps. The first one is device. So the device is the flash drive that you inserted into your PC. The next one is the boot selection. Now by default it'll say disk or ISO image. So the ISO image is what we downloaded. So let's actually select the file. It'll be in your download folder. My one I just moved it into another drive. So it says Windows 10. Okay, once it's done loading the Windows 10 ISO, you're going to see it pop up there. Now, the partition scheme. Now, for my laptop specifically, it uses the MBR, Target System BIOS or UEFI. Now, some machines use the GBT, okay, and some use MBR. So, depending on your brand or type you have to select accordingly to whatever your system takes 
Then the volume label will be put automatically. You can either change it to like Windows 10, like just put that there, just for you to know that this is a Windows 10 flash drive. File system NTFS, that is automatically customized, that's also default, don't have to change that. And then just press the start key. Warning all data on device will be destroyed, that's okay. So my Windows 10 ISO files are copying to my flash drive, but I do want to talk about Windows 11 really quickly because I did say Windows 10 and 11. So if you installing Windows 11 the same way we did for Windows 10, you're going to see it when you load the ISO and press the start button in the bottom, it's going to pop up a screen. It's going to say Windows user experience. And it's going to give you a couple more options. So it says customize Windows installation. You can remove the requirement for 4 gigabyte and secure boot and TPM. You can remove requirement for an online Microsoft account and disable data collection. So you can just tick those three boxes or it'll be already by default picked on its own. And then press OK. So you can install Windows 11 on older devices that are not supported by the new requirements Microsoft pushed out. So yeah. Now that our files have been copied, the progress bar in the bottom will be fully green and it says ready. So we can just close the application now. Take out our USB. And we are ready to install the system on our laptop or PC that we needed to install Windows. So first thing you're going to install your USB before you boot up. Now we're going to actually start up our PC or power it on. Now before it boots up into the internal hard drive, we are going to go into the boot menu by pressing F12. For me it's F12, for you it might be F10, F8, Escape, F2, depending on your PC manufacturer. So once you go into the boot menu, you're going to see a bunch of boot options saying USB storage. I just want to click to boot from USB, press any key on your keyboard, and it should take you to the Windows installation setup. You can see the Windows logo, and then you will see like a, like a loading sign in the bottom here. Now this may take up to 5 to 10 minutes for it to load all the files onto your system. So you have to be very patient when installing this operating system. And then after you install, make sure you go to system and then go into updates and just install all the updates that's possible so that you can get your PC up and running quicker. Rather than it, you're using the PC and then it needs to restart and then now you're busy working and it needs to actually absolutely restart because of the display driver or some crap that it'll tell you so yeah just make sure you install all the updates that it requires before you proceed to use your pc so after all the files that have been loaded it's going to say what language to install well it's only giving me english united kingdom time and currency format okay you put what time and currency format that uh, for the country you live in so I'm just going to see if they got from my country. Let's just do it quickly. Okay. And then keyboard or input method is US. Then just press install now. Setup is starting. I think it'll take you to the internal hard drive where you're supposed to install the system, but let's see. It says activate Windows. Now, if you don't have a product key, just say, I don't have a product key. Just for now. We just want to install our system first and we'll get into activating Windows and so on. So you can choose your preferred like uh, edition of Windows, like if you want Windows 11 Home, Education, Pro, I'm just going to choose Pro. 
for my system because this laptop when it was shipped it was Windows 7 Pro so I'm gonna put Windows 11 Pro so I'm gonna say custom install not upgrade you want a custom so here's the hard drives that are currently or actually in my system there's only one that is divided into three different partitions so you're just going to delete all of them right now delete and one more delete there we go now there's only one unallocated space so you just say next now it's copying the files onto your internal hard drive and then after that your windows will be installed and everybody is happy and look how easy that was okay guys well this is the boring part of the installation it's gonna take really long and I'm not gonna waste your time over here but once you are on this screen basically you are done don't worry about that. <laughs>